five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Yay! <laughs> three, two, one. Um, we really thank you all for turning yeah. up and taking yeah. these photographs. That's yeah. really kind of you and films and everything. And is there anything else that you would like or need? You're the chair of the Friends Committee. Can you just tell me what this actual moment means as the chair of the Friends? As the chair of the Friends, it's actually quite frightening, exciting, scary, because we've worked with the trustees to be able to buy this building which is a huge success, not just for us, but for the community. But now the hard work begins because we need lots of fundraising. So we need the support of our local community. We've got lots of events coming up, which you'll hear of through Team Kinetic, which some of you have signed up for, as well as on Facebook, our social media, and also um, with our local newspapers. So this is another kind of another wave of invigorated fundraising for you then. So what type of thing can we expect to see in the future? Oh gosh. Well, we're hoping to do lots of events. We've got um, afternoon tea, Harvest Bay Hotel, which they're kindly giving us um, 40 spaces. And you can book any of these through myself or any of the committee members. We have Trugena Castle. We've got our celebration ball because we've got a huge celebration now. So we're looking at um, hopefully up to 150 people to book and again book either with myself or any of the committee you know and you'll see that advertised again on social media or just contact any one of us. The Trugena have been extremely generous once again to us. They have given us every meal free. So every time you pay for that meal, that all goes into this building. We've got sponsored walk, which will go from the Edward Hain and come back to the Edward Hain. Now we've got it, it's a great showcase for us. We've also got race night and we're hoping at the Palmanta um, to be able to do a bingo evening in October. Brilliant. Now obviously, you know, one of the things at the moment today, this is when the keys got handed over, this is the official kind of um, transfer. And there's only a few people here, the trustees, etc. So when do the public actually get to be here? Oh gosh, I know. I'd like them to come in now and see how it was left for us. We we managed yesterday just to clean one room and a loo. That was my little thing to do. So that's so that we've got somewhere for people to come in and we can offer them a cup of tea. But in September, September the 9th and the 10th we're planning for hopefully businesses who've supported us and who want to support us will come to that and the public will also come and of course we'll be doing raffles and tombolas anything to be able to prize the money off you and just um, sort of like, I'm sure there is a long list of thanks and we won't necessarily have to include it all, but it's good for the record because yeah. Tony and I are collecting this for the record as much as anything else. He'll put something up obviously, but yeah. I've, I've, I'm using his good offices to, to keep stuff. So for, for the record, who would you, who, uh, what is your list of thanks, the Oscar speech list of thanks, what, what would you include? Goodness me, how where do you start? Thanking, you know, just thanking all the businesses from, you know, Estate agents who supported us, like Cross Estates, have sponsored of bands when we've held um, a, the fundraising ball last year at Tregenna, Tregenna Castle, Harpers Bay Hotel, the Harbour Hotel, who kindly hosted um, the fashion show for us. We have the Lifeboat, the Western Hotel. The list is endless because some people might offer all those of you who've made cakes for us in the past. It's thanks to all of you that we, where we are today and we hope for all of your support. And if I've missed somebody off, I really don't mean to, I'm sorry. And I guess though, of course, over the years, there have been lots of people on the Friends themselves over the sort of uh, decades that have been there. So I'm sure that, that uh, you, you know, all the efforts that you're, you're, you know, you're following in, in big shoes. Absolutely. I mean, because, We've all been pulled into this. We're sort of the newbies who you're taking on something quite frightening, but we've also taken 
over from some of the ones friends who are now trustees or who've stayed like Maureen Humphreys who stayed on as a friend who's so valued everybody is so valued we're not even though it's the centre and the friends we're working together it's a community thing the same as the trustees and the friends so the friends raise the money to be able to help with the Edward Hayne and the centre will also be doing things like looking at sponsorship in different formats or you, well, you know what it is it's hard there's so much going on hopefully in the next few weeks we've got a new fundraising idea so it's called a 50 50 club so for every sponsorship we're doing like a five it'll cost you five pound for each month and you sign up for the year we'll have standing order forms for you to be able to fill in for us and then on the 1st of October you'll be put into the first draw well I think it might be the 7th now we might change the date 7th of October to the 7th and the 7th of November is when the draw takes place if we've got 100 members we've got so much money in the pot half of it 50% will go for winnings and 50% stays as fundraising so that all goes to the Edward Hayne and the friends. Is that okay?